And lastly this week, a sprawling mass of garbage littered water known as the Great Pacific Garbage Patch is expanding, alarming scientists. Plastic sea trash doesn't biodegrade and often floats at the surface. Bottle caps, bags, and wrappers that end up in the ocean from the wind or through overflowing sewage systems can then drift thousands of miles. A research team who located the floating island of refuse found trash with labels written in Chinese and in English, hints of the long journeys garbage takes to arrive mid-ocean. The sheer quantity of plastic that accumulates in the North Pacific gyre, a vortex formed by ocean and wind currents and located a thousand miles off the California coast, has scientists worried about how it might harm the sea creatures there. A study released earlier this month estimated that thousands of tons of plastic debris wind up in the oceans every year, and some of that has ended up in the swirling currents of the Great Pacific Garbage Patch. Katsuhiko Saido, a chemist at Nihon U University in Japan, told the annual meeting of the American Chemical Society last week that plastic actually does decompose, releasing potentially toxic chemicals that can disrupt the functioning of hormones in animals and marine life. The scientists hope their data gives clues as to the density and extent of marine debris, especially since the Great Pacific Garbage Patch may have company in the southern hemisphere, where scientists say the gyre is four times bigger.